Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mutant Year Zero. I'm your host, Brigitte Dunn, and welcome to the House of Bones. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and heal up ducks before we get into any sort of engagement. Can you catch what you were saying back there, Selma? Where was Hammond going? The House of Bones. We're almost there. And why, pray tell, do they call it the House of Bones? It's a big house full of dead people. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Borman, don't lie to me. You do not want to be doing this right now. What I want and what I need are two different things. We need to find Hammond. So shut up and get your head in the game. Can you open up this door? Yeah, that's where I need to go. Okay. Cool. Red Plague Protocol. Red Plague Warning. Do not enter. Offenders will be shot on sight. If you're experiencing the following symptoms, report immediately to the quarantine area in Drodeningaton time. Uh, red blisters on skin, high body temperature, nerve spasms, paranoia, blood and eyes. When able to reach this uh, location, stay indoors and call 555-008-922 for assistance. I wonder if um, the developers actually have something set up for that phone number. So I think Fallout did that before, where they had like a number in their ad, in their trailer or whatever. You could call it and it'd be like a vault tech representative talking to you. I mean, it was obviously pre-recorded. I know a few things have done that. Some movies have done that as well. What is this line? Oh, it's a road. It's like, why is there a... Oh, it looked like the snow had like some sort of weird... Texture running through it. Kind of look like the uh, line of sight for the enemies. Alright, well, let's get in here. Take our time, try and pick off people one at a time. Assuming there's enemies here, I mean, I, I don't know for sure these, but. Caution is key to victory. So cold in these parts, I can't feel my beak. Yeah, I've never been this far north before. I feel cold to the bone. I don't see any enemies yet. Oh, crap, there's a butcher right there. Alright, well, we found our first patroller. Let's see if we can take him out first. So we know he comes up to this ambulance here. Oh, the house of bones. What a nice, inviting place. These signs are a lovely touch. I got this. Cover me. Right, is that where he stops? Is he going to turn around here? No, all right. He keeps going. Cool. Well, then I have the perfect ambush location for him. So he walks through the middle here. We can uh, hop him from both sides. All right, keep on walking, big guy. I want him to get closer to ducks. And right about here should do. Heck yeah. Stay down. Got that right. Nice. Feels good when you pull off like an ambush like that. It's not very hard, but it just it uh, feels good. It, you know that you're slowly turning the tide in your favor. You're in control of the odds when you're ambushing enemies. That building there? House of bones. It was a fortress full of tiny flesh-eating monsters called Stu-Dens. They came here every day to learn how to become bigger monsters. Now you hear the story. Right. I don't hear the story, I see the story. I went inside and I saw all these drawings of monsters and, and flying machines and, and gross stuff. Scary stuff. So, alright. I was right. I knew he was either going to patrol this way or the other way. So I went ahead and set up an ambush. So if he, uh, if he went the other way, I could always, you know, circle around. 
gonna take him out. You got? That had to hurt. All right, Borman, don't mess this up, man. get to this guy looks like we can get up on this uh, treehouse or jungle gym playground all right well if we get up here we can probably snipe him like 100% chance to hit right because high ground gives you a higher chance to hit yeah I think I think we can do this I believe in us. Get you out up here too. Cool. Should I put Borman up there? Or should I put Borman down here? I put Borman down here. Fifty-five percent chance to crit. Oh, that's a good crit. Yeah, Borman probably won't even have to shoot this time. Beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. Alright, let's go grab this loot. Alright, so it looks like we can go inside. Just take a quick peek. Alright, it's pretty big inside. And they're above us, so they shouldn't be able to see us, right? I think that's... If it's got a white outline to it, it means they can't see us. Pretty sure. A lot of scrap in here, though. Well, this is a huge area. We have to circle around to the other side as well. There's a lot of enemies patrolling. Okay. Well, let's finish our loop around this side first then we'll circle back around to the other side hey follow me ducks come on man break up come back here no you're going the wrong way Selma come on back Alright, I don't see enemy, any enemies in my compass, so let's just, uh... Alright, so we can go that way, and I think that's... Yeah, that might just be an optional area. But we'll finish exploring this area first before we... Scoot on. Alright, see so a medbot. That's all I meant to do. Did not contain the sacred numbers! But split fear up. not, my children! The machine led a stalker to us. A smart stalker whose mind holds the secrets we need! The smart stalker will show us where the sacred numbers are kept! Ah, ah, yeah, 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 are they talking about Hammond? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Tonight, we will sacrifice his companion's life. The Ark has spilled our blood. Tonight we spill their blood. A stalker who hunts my children. Now he is the hunted. He is the sacrifice. Okay. Well, I'm not going this way yet. I'm going to circle around. I see Guys, people patrolling on the far side. So we'll just circle all the way around the, uh, the building and take out more patrols. There's an artifact in there. I see it. Just to the top left. Yeah, I see that purple. Um, so they said a smart stalker, and they said a stalker that hunts his children. Now, they could be one and the same, but I'm thinking that they're talking about Hammond. It's, Hammond is the smart stalker, and the um, our fourth companion is the hunting hunter stalker. Because in their... Uh, I think right before the game came out, they released. Yeah, that's why they call it the House of Bones. 
they released their uh, fourth stalker. It's a fox. I don't remember his name. He's like a sniper, I think. He's got an eye patch and stuff. He looks pretty cool. So. Just clear out this corner over here, make sure we don't miss anything. And then we'll uh, try to set up ambushes up ahead. For patrollers. Holy ancient's power. Do you feel it? Let us now gather at the sacred site for a ritual sacrifice. Oh, see that right there. Alright, well we found one patroller. Or one patrol. How far out does he come? Alright, so we might be able to ambush him on his way back. He doesn't turn around too quick. All right, cool. Whew, just in time. So come around. Ducks should be able to get. Uh, yeah, this, this is a good spot. It's a good ambush spot. And ready and ambush. Ducks was caught. It's fine. Oh, good stuff, guys. Gotcha. You ain't half bad. Real good stuff. For a newbie. Oh, we got level up on ducks as well. Also, what is his level up? He has five points available. I could get twitch shot. Honestly, I think I'd rather. Well, I really like hog rush for combat. Only costs 1 AP to shoot, but minus 25% accuracy, I do not think that's worth it. He doesn't have a passive ability yet, does he? He does not. Only have two passives down here. They're both really good. I think I'm just going to grab Twitch Shot to have it, so we can keep moving down. I don't necessarily want it, but uh, yeah. That'll do. Alright, so this is where those, the large group of enemies are. There's a Marauder here. So we know he goes beside this tree. Alright, better idea. We can ambush him on this wall here. <laughs> okay. Well, that was really close. Alright, and let's get him. Oh, and it knocked him down. I forgot about that little uh, upgrade. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? All right, Borman. You know what you need to do, man. Executed. Put a bullet in the back of his head. Oh, you a grog. That was amazing. All right. I know there's two enemies on the second floor of the school as well, and I wonder if they're separate. Like a separate group from the large group down below. Oh, there's loot over here. Let's go grab that. See, it says there's a enemy over that way, but I don't think you can go any further that way. To the south. Alright, there's a ladder here. Alright, so let's head up here. Foreman? Group. Foreman. Come on, man. Oh, I like messed up. Son of a gun. Oh, 
Well, I hope that he, uh... <coughs> he fixes himself. So when they're like that, you can't hide them or anything. They can't, uh... Set up ambushes. The ladder may have fixed his freeze, though. Can he hide now? It's possible he just can't hide on this stuff. Alright, let's do the ambush with him and then <clears throat> take him out of ambush so we can hide again. Can't keep us here. I want to party too. Yeah, yeah, we party. We can party on this man's I'm going face. Home. Cut it real quick. <laughs> Wouldn't make his face uglier, would it? This man fell out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> My dad used to call, tell me that. Alright, let's see if he comes this way. Alright, he's going the other way. I'm gonna wait and see if he comes back this way. Because sometimes. Like, wherever they have the conversation at, it's like their, their base camp, essentially. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at Duck's upgrade. Seven points. He get his moth wings, finally. He can fly in combat. Let's get him that. I keep forgetting to change his darn... This to this. I'd rather immobilize an enemy. Also, I picked up a hand grenade earlier and I didn't equip it. Also, an EMP grenade. Let's uh, give her that. And this. There we go. Let's hope the hunter comes back this way. If he doesn't, we'll set up an ambush uh, over where he's at now. But yeah, usually what I've noticed is wherever they have the conversation at is like their central point, but they'll patrol two separate paths from the uh, like conversation point. So I'm hoping he comes back this way. Because if not, I mean, I can't get into that hallway right now anyway, because of where he's standing. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Oh, well. I'll try to clear out this area, and then we'll try to call an episode. After that. Come on, Hunter. Are you going to patrol anymore? All right. Where is he gonna go? And right here is the perfect place for an ambush. Bingo. Oh, do I not have enough damage? If she doesn't crit. Oh, Thank goodness, that was that was awesome. That was all luck. By the way. Alright, so if we take him out, I wonder if we're going to aggro the rest of the enemies. If I have to use a uh, loud weapon. Can I get up on the roof from here? Let's just go around real quick. We'll go grab this artifact. So we hit him from three sides, but if we don't crit... Defibrillator. A labeled defibrillator. This object... Uh, this appears to have been a relaxation... Relaxion device of sorts. As the diagram shows, an ancient relaxing... Most of the device was used. Possibly having those annoying fribs removed at the same time. Okay. So I can set up an ambush here. Won't be a great one, so if we don't hit him. Mm. Alright, cool, he's moving a little bit. Oh, cool. Let's, uh, let's put her over here, then. Get her closer to the action. I can get Borman over there, too, because he patrols. It just takes him a very long time to patrol. If he does it again, I can easily get Borman in there and get a... Uh... 
better chance of hitting him. Require a little bit of patience. I can get ducks over here, I think, as well. So I wait for him to go back and look out the window, and I'll put both my guys in position real quick. All right, here we go. All or nothing, guys. Awesome, I crit. That's all I really needed. Oh, wow. Okay, Borman, don't mess this up, man. Sleep it off. Cleanly done. Beautiful. Alright, so Ducks is stuck now. Smoke grenade. Oh, weird that a pyro job a smoke grenade since that counters a pyro. Oh, a boomstick. <laughs> Alright, this long firearm is worn and scratched, but it's great close range firepower. I'll make sure you're feared in the zone. Chronicler Ash. That's a reference to, uh, Uh, Bruce Campbell. Uh, he plays Ash... Uh, what's his face in the darn movie? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. With the Necronomicon. He says, this is my boomstick. Follow me. I can't believe I can't remember the name of the movie. It's like one of those cult classics. And I'm, I'm a huge fan. I really, I really enjoy it. It's like the... Uh, Oh, comedy horror genre. Alright, so there's some enemies there. I see three, I think. I know the medbot's over there as well. The medbot's probably going to rush over here to one of these bodies when we engage. Alright, what does he have? So this does seven damage. So screw the gaper. You go with the boomstick. There. You can still keep the needle pistol. All right, for now, I'm going to keep ducks up here. I wish I could hide him. He's getting ahead. All right, that fixed him. I think, right? All right, there we go. Alright. Ducks, I'll put you up here. Alright. Uh, Selma. I mean, you probably do fine up here. The increased chance to hit, so yeah, I'll probably just leave you up here. Then Borman, I'll put down below. Brother Skoog, a Sect Hunter, and a Medbot. If I take out the Hunter first. Like in one volley. We'd be in really good shape. So I think that's what I'll do. What's your chance of hitting the hunter here? But is she not? Is she really not in range? Alright, let's put her down closer. I don't like it. Reduces your chance of hitting. But, uh... It'll probably do. Yeah, if we take the Hunter out in one turn. Then perfect. 75% chance and a high chance of crit. I'll take it. Oh, can I change his... I don't think I can. Oh, I didn't see that guy back there. That's fine. I mean, the hunter is a much larger threat. Then what I can do with uh, Hammond is just throw a grenade. I mean, not Hammond, uh, Foreman. Oh, there's a pyro over there too. This will be fine. 
Let's just get rid of the hunter at least. Alright, so Selma's in a really bad spot. Butcher's gonna run straight at us. It should be an easy, an easy drop. I don't feel so good. Oh yeah, with the shotgun though, you don't get the uh, a chance of knockdown. Let's focus on the butcher. And she needs to move anyway. I could probably put her here. No, she can't hit anybody there. Um, should probably, well, yeah, should probably stop the med bot because he's going to go for the hunter next turn. The chance of hitting anybody? There's 75% chance of hitting him, but uh, it's run and gun. Where can I move to? Yeah, let's just run and gun here. So we get damage on the pyro. Not today, Dick White. Then ducks, can you even hit anything? 75% chance, 25% chance. Um... Five damage, that's five damage. Crit chance ten. It would I guess regardless I can shoot, so let's see what his crit chance is with this. Only five. I should have put his other hat on. Yeah, fire at this guy. Gotcha! Empower you. Who's he gonna empower? Oh. Sorry, Borman should still be able to one shot him. He's lying down again. You scared yet? Did a good chunk of damage there. What do you got, bud? 50% chance. Um let's go with Borman here. And he can take him down right off the bat. Can I heal? I think I do need, well, maybe not. So if this brother guy does the same damage as the last brother guy. Only 25% chance. Um, let's get her behind heavy cover. Maybe if she can't hit anybody, I can, uh, Make something happen. Like, uh... I don't know. Just reload, I guess. And you may as well take the shot. 50% chance. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Give your mind to me! Three damage. That's guaranteed, no matter like what you're behind. It's a little irritating, but it's not awful, because again, it's only three damage. Now you take out the pyro. Alright, now it's just the medbot and brother Scroog, or Scrooge. I can always heal. She's gonna throw an EMP at this guy. Now he's disabled. Now we're going to heal up. If he heals here, does it heal both of them? 
is it just her? See, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. No time to die. We have it's just her. Fighting. That's a little annoying. Um. Where can I move to? Nowhere very good. Uh, can I hog rush anybody? No. Let's go ahead and reload. Lay down your weapons and join us. Stop. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Well, this could be problematic. Put Selma here, I guess, and uh, have her shoot at this guy, the medbot. I mean, twenty percent chance to crit. That's pretty good. And knock him down. Is he in the fire? I think he's in the fire as well. Does that hurt? Not enough damage. Definitely not enough damage. Um, hit that guy. Pretty good damage. That shotgun is awesome. Though it doesn't knock him down, which kind of sucks. Holy crap, it went all the way over there. Wow, that is something. Alright, we'll take down the med bot. Well. I'm sorry. Hog rush him. There we go. I'll keep him down for a bit. Um. Actually, you know what? Where can she move to? Not very far. Let's get over here, I guess. And then ducks should be able to take him out, I think. Yeah, it seems that way. Reload. Let's get you uh, over there. Ah. Right, he's not standing up yet. I guess just go and reload and shoot. Don't it. And she should be able to. Might have this. If we get a crit, that'd be great. There we go, see? And if uh Borman finishes him, right? Awesome. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. That was a doozy. And a med kit. Awesome. Selma. Actually, I think Borman's still the Well, no, let's go and give it to her. I don't like using medkits during uh, combat like that, but... Well, we came out on top because of it. Let's give that EMP grenade to Selma. Yeah, this smoke grenade. 
Also, she can level up. Five points available. I don't want that. I want this. I want Contortionist, so I'll wait for her to get another skill point. Hey, follow me. Because then she gets uh, high cover and even in low cover. And that's really good. Oh, there's a guy up there pinned to the thing. I didn't even see that. Alright, well, we'll check that out in a second. Let's make sure I get all the loot in this area. And then we'll get him down. Actually, we'll see how long I've been recording. 35 minutes. Alright, well, we should probably go ahead and get him down and then call it an episode. Free Magnus. The smell of gunpowder fades. We're safe for now. We free the prisoner. He's a stalker named Magnus. Part of Hammond's team. Selma's partner. Magnus is a mutant too. Not on the outside, but on the inside. He's got powers. Mind powers. But he's not insane like the Nova sect. He's calm. Real calm. Tuned into some frequency only he can hear. Magnus tells his tale. Him and Hammond were ambushed by the Novasect. Novasect heard about Hammond. Heard he could talk to machines. Get machines going. So they left Magnus here to die. And took Hammond south to their hangout. They call it the Spear of Heaven. Novasect would make Hammond interpret the gifts of the ancients and open the gates to Eden. Whatever that means. Magnus thinks they're gonna blow up the zone and take the Ark with them. I suggest we rescue Hammond before something goes boom. Selmer and Magnus agree. Even ducks. So, Dot, can I only have three? Well, we'll take a look at Magnus in the next episode. Failed saving out of disk space. What? Alright, we're going to call the episode here, and um, the next episode we'll take a look at Magnus. We'll probably head back to the Ark as well. Green Eye. 30% added to weapon range. Okay. It's, yeah, we've already looked at that. Alright, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see y'all in the next episode.